Hello and welcome back to another video. In this uh, tutorial I'm going to walk you through setting up run cloud with the best practices in mind so you have a seamless experience without any issues. So let's get started. Uh, for this tutorial I will use uh, Linode where I will create a single VPS and later we will connect this VPS to the run cloud agent. So, we're going to create Linode for image we choose Ubuntu 20.04. For the time being, this is the only supported distribution for RunCloud. You can select whatever region is close to you, and we're gonna select Nanode, which is the cheapest one for this. We're gonna name it RunCloud. We're gonna enter our root password. And if you have SSH key, you want to add your SSH key also. And now we create our Linode. Oh yeah, I need to put strong and complicated passwords. Okay. And our Linode should be good within a couple seconds. While we are here in the Linode, we want to make sure we secure our firewall and all open ports on our server. So, when we go to firewalls, on the left side, we create a new firewall and we name it RunCloud. We're gonna add our Linode to that firewall and we're gonna create a firewall. Now we need to add our custom rules. So we click our firewall, we're going to add an inbound rule and we're going to first add our HTTP. I'm selecting uh, only IPv4 for this. We're going to add our HTTPS protocol, again all out IPv4. And now we're going to add our SSH on port 22. And we're going to select all. IPv4 as well. If you have your own dedicated IP from your VPN or you have your home dedicated IP, you want to add your IP here. In that case, only that IP will be allowing connections on port 22. And for this tutorial, we're gonna leave only IPv4. And we're gonna add two more rules, and that is for a run cloud agent so it can communicate with our server and we're gonna go label we're gonna do run cloud protocol tcp and we're gonna add our custom port because run cloud is communicating on port 34210 so we're gonna add 34210 sources we're gonna select our ip address and we're gonna specify the run cloud ip addresses this is first one and we're gonna add the second one and you will find those IP addresses in the description below and action we're gonna accept and add rule and now we're gonna save changes okay now we're going back to our Linode we copy the IP address and I will add this Linode to my terminal manager. So I'm in my terminal manager and I'm going to add new host. I'm gonna paste the IP. I will name it RunCloud. I put my username, is root for now, and I will add my SSH key. So I don't need to use uh, passwords. And now we're gonna connect. You wanna accept? SSH fingerprint. Okay, I can clear this. And now I'm usually setting up the time zone, so we're gonna add a time date CTL. Set time zone Europe, London. And now we're gonna perform update and upgrade of the server. So it's APT update, 100% and APT. 
upgrade dash y that you accept all new packages. So we will be back when this is updated. So we have updated and upgraded our server and we can now continue to installing the RunCloud agent. Let me clear the screen first in this terminal. Okay. Let us go to the browser. Okay. So when you log into your RunCloud account, you click the connect server and you're gonna select other and i will explain you later why i prefer manual installation of the runcloud agent we're gonna name it runcloud and we're gonna paste the ip address from this linode we're gonna go continue and here in this tab you click the manual installation and copy this command now we're going back to our terminal and we paste the command and press enter what this does uh, it will install all necessary packages and uh, full stack for the run cloud agent as we go back to our browser we can see that our server is starting to installing usually it takes two three minutes depending on the server spec so we will be back when this is finished it looks like our installation is almost finished let us check the terminal And soon we will see and I will tell you why I decided to go with the manual installation for the run cloud. Okay, the installation is finished and the reason why I went with the manual installation is because you will see the credentials for the main database for your server. As you can see, the MySQL root password is this, user is run cloud and the password for the run cloud user is this most of almost every time i save those to my uh, bitwarden password manager so i can set up the database backups that's the only reason why i choose the manual installation because when you go with the automatic installation you don't get a chance to see those credentials okay let's go back to the run cloud All right, first thing what I'm doing is to add a system user. So when we click the system user on the left, we're going to add a new system user. We can name it however you want and you can generate the secure password. Or if you have your own that you prefer, you can enter it. But it's highly recommended to enter strong and secure passwords and we're gonna save the system user when we add our system user test we go to the utility tab and ssh and here in the config we're gonna click a permanent root login if you have your own ssh key like i do i usually disable logging in with the password i because i want to use only ssh key so we're gonna save the config and the last thing uh, here in the server dashboard we're gonna go to the security and we want to change some rules in the firewall and this is the software level firewall that is inside of your server and here in the linode that we created the run cloud firewall this is the hardware level firewall so uh, we can keep those uh, https and http ports open and also we're gonna delete the ssh 
variable and we're gonna add our own variable so if you wanna globally open port for any IP you just select this and you enter the port for example we had the 22 but if you wanna limit this port 22 on the your dedicated IP you want to enter your IP here and uh, click save rule so for this we're gonna do like this right now and also we want to add those uh, run cloud IP addresses so we're gonna add a new rule we're gonna select the rigid rule and the port was 34210 and the IP addresses is this one let's press enter and we're gonna add our second run cloud IP address all right and we save the rule and now we deploy our firewall and sometimes what I'm doing if my clients require requires that server needs to communicate only with the Cloudflare I will add a rule rich rule on the port 80 and 443 and here I will paste all Cloudflare IP addresses that you can find in the Cloudflare documentation and I will leave the link for it so another thing in your user account settings you click this uh, wheel on the left side and you go to the uh, integration and here you will enter all integrations that you want to have the most important integration is uh, with Cloudflare if you have your domain on the Cloudflare or you managing your domain in Cloudflare you want to add this in integration what does it mean? it means it, uh, you will have access to the DNS uh, certifications SSL certificates for your domains that means you, are, you will no longer um, how to say it basically it will validate the domain through the DNS record so your record can be proxified in Cloudflare because if you will do with the basic SSL that is performing HTTP and your domain is a proxy file to Cloudflare you will get DNS errors so that means the SSL certificate will not be issued so you want to add your integration here and also you can add Google Drive, Amazon S3 or any other storage that you want to have for your backup next thing we're gonna cover is uh, notifications for your server and uh, you can add telegram notifications, slack notifications or email notifications but I'm using telegram because it's easy and it's instant so when you add your new channel for the notifications you will select telegram slack or email it's pretty simple and straightforward you just go to this run cloud bot and you paste this token there and you will be authenticated so I think I cover everything and uh, if you have any questions or if you want to learn more you can subscribe to my channel and yeah See you next time with another video. Bye.